Every man should have a router in his house. So his wife will run away? Correct. When you want privacy, you just turn on the router. It just... Say so, hey roamers, um, back here working on the reno again for Rosie. What I'm doing now is, uh, I don't know if you noticed in the video, the TV was up above the driver's seat, which didn't really work out too well if you're actually trying to watch TV. So uh, what I've done is I've taken the TV down. I'm building a cabinet. This is kind of what I have going so far. Um, I'm building a cabinet that's going to be housing the TV. And what it's going to do, it's going to have, it's not going to be a powered raise lift, but what it's going to be, it's going to be a manual. So I bought some slides and then I made this manual. Yeah, let's see here if you can see it. This mounts on the back of the TV. This is what was on there originally. I cut it down, put in this hand, um, this slot so I can put my hand in there and raise it up. Um, so this is what's going to happen. This is going to mount on the back of the TV, then it will mount in the cabinet, and this will be on the drawer slides and go up and down. So what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of getting the cabinet put together. What are you building? My doghouse. When are you going to have to use that? I don't get my act together. I'm in the doghouse. <laughs> building the TV cabinet. For Rosie? For Rosie. How big is the TV? 36. 36 inches? Correct. And the cabinet is going to be on the side behind the passenger seat? Correct. And then how, how will the TV, will it sit on it or will it be down inside it? No, it'll be down inside, it'll lift up, it'll be on some slides that you can pull it up manually. And why are we doing pulling it up manually? So we don't have to have any electricity to get the TV to come up. One less thing to break. Same as all of the our... seats that we're buying that are not powered, they're manual. That way you don't have to have power. You don't have to have power. So that way you're not using up your batteries. Asking you questions when you're creating is difficult. Yeah, because my brain's on this. I guess it's better than your brain on drugs. That's correct. You gonna help Dad? Dexter. Hey, you gonna help Dad? You gonna help him build? Hmm? Can I help him build? Let's see what he's doing. He's building the TV cabinet for Rosie. We're gonna take that big 36 inch TV from, from above the uh, driver's side it's out of there already. It's out of there already. We're building a box for it behind the passenger seat. Box? Well, a cabinet. cabinet. Building a cabinet for it behind the passenger seat. What you doing, Dex? What you doing? You inspecting all this fresh wood? All this fresh wood? You listening to everything, Dexter? Huh? He's training to be a carpenter. Training to be a carpenter? Yeah. Hey, you. Hey. Hi. Hi. So these are the pieces. Like a jigsaw puzzle. Yep, you gotta cut all your pieces out and then put them together. <laughs> now what I'm doing is I'm uh, trimming out these edges here. That's what the bottom's gonna look like. I, I just routed this over, kind of like what I did with the uh, molding pieces that went around the slides. You just did the same thing with the round over. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do there. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the pieces that go 
across here and in front of here and the lid. Uh, this lid's gonna pop up. I'm gonna put a piano hinge on the back. Uh, it's gonna pop up so that when the TV comes up, it'll kind of just sit out of the way. And then uh, just some strips across the back. But that's where we're at, so we're just gonna continue on and then uh, I'll keep you updated as I, as I move along. Yeah. What are you complaining about now? So you don't enjoy out here building this? No, I do. You gonna cut that? First I'm gonna cut the cheese, then I'm gonna cut that. So which piece is this? This is the piece that's gonna go right here in the front. Okay. Put it on my table saw, wouldn't it? Why'd you sell your table saw? You told me you didn't have room in the garage for a table saw. It's my fault. Your fault. What are you going to do when we're on the road full time? That's going to be your fault too. How are you going to have projects? <laughs> that probably would have been cuss words. Had the camera not been on. Probably. I'm trying to catch you as your real self. Smells like Christmas trees. Oh, I don't like that. I have to go now. We will not see the router unless he can hold the camera and do that. I have to run away. Every man should have a router in his house. So his wife will run away? Correct. When you want privacy, you just turn on the router. It just sounds like the dentist. Yeah. I don't like You're it. Working on your teeth. We'll be back in a minute. I have to leave now. You're making a lid? Okay, I'm going to try to stay while you use the dental drill because it came out really cool. What is it you're doing with that? Routing the edges. To make them... Okay. So I have to tolerate the dental drill. Yeah. Nice. I survived. Now what? That's the back. And then you're gonna stain it to match the trim around the windows? I was gonna stain this part. The sides I was gonna paint the same as the cabinets. Oh, okay. So it kind of go with what the theme is in the motorhome. Okay, Rosie's theme. Yeah, Rosie's thing. Well, here's what we're at so far. I got the uh, top pieces on and it's starting to come together. Um, mounted the, got my piano hinge on here. Next step here is gonna be uh, getting the mount for the TV with the slides. Um, and figuring that all out but it's just kind of progressing along. So I'll just give you an update on the um, TV cabinet. What we got so far is uh, I got this little pocket here that's for the DVD player. Um, this is all gonna be a piece that pulls back, just pulls off. Um, so you can access the cabinet if you need to pull the TV out or anything like that or if you have to do any wiring um, and then this pulls up 
I bought one of these uh, adjustable friction supports. Um, you just basically screw it on the sidewall here and on the deck here. And basically what that does is when you open it up, it supports it so it doesn't flop all the way back. Also what I bought is I bought one of these roller catches. So what that does is this kind of rolls onto there. I got it backwards. But basically what it does, it screws on the back side here and it'll hold that deck lid down when we're driving down the road. If it was just sitting in a house, it wouldn't be a big deal, but being that we're driving down the road, I don't want things flopping around. Um, as you know, the earthquake happens as you're driving down the road. So, But this is what I have so far. And these are the uh, drawer slides that I used. Uh, my TV's basically 21 inches, so these are 22 inch slides. So that's gonna raise it up just high enough to get it uh, up there. So what I'm doing is I'm installing those roller catches and uh, um, I'm having to use my angle. Um, it's my Roy Ryobi, it's like an angle drill. Um, I'm having to use that because that's the only thing it'll fit in here. So um, pretty handy tool. Got all these Ryobi. Ryobi tools, they all work off the same battery. I got the angle drill. I got the uh, Airstrike Brad Nailer. The, I also got the drill and the, um, the hammer drill as well. Uh, they all work off of the same battery. Uh, so that works out, it's really convenient, it works out really well. Um, it's just these uh, 18 volt lithiums. And the set that I bought uh, basically came with the charger and one battery. I bought another battery so I'd have two. So while I was using one, I could be charging one. The other thing that I bought is I bought this. Um, it's another little drill. Um, it's rechargeable within itself. The battery's in the drill itself. And that's kind of really cool. It's real handy when you don't want to um, use a big drill. It's just kind of for stuff around the motorhome or whatever. If you're not really having to crank down on anything or drill up anything really heavy duty. That works out really well and it's kind of lightweight so it's easy to handle so so let me just show you where i'm at uh with the cabinet um almost done doing the complete fabrication of it just give you an idea here what we got going so this uh lifts up and it stays like so um the tv is going to slide in here and raise up so got all that together that's kind of what she looks like. And then there's the desk aspect of it. And how that works is this lifts up. And we got these little supports down here. I'll just kind of show you those. They slide out there on piano hinges. And that's kind of what we got there. So we got those two supports on there. And in that pocket right there, that hole, um, that space is for the uh, DVD player. I filled all the holes, kind of cocked it. And I'm going to let that dry and then I got to sand it. So I just want to give you an update on the uh, TV cabinet here. Um, so we got it all, the build is completely done. Basically what I'm doing now, I put a coat of primer on, on the main part of the body. The spots that are not primer are the spots that are gonna be like up here. This is all gonna be stained. It's gonna be stained the same color as what I did the balances. Where I got everything primed is gonna be the same color as our cabinets. So Jamie's been out here very busy today. And this is why. Reveal the new TV cabinet. So the TV used to be up here in this obnoxious place over the driver and now that will just be a cabinet and this is where it'll go the tv the, t the tv's already here and how does that whole thing work how does it all work so we still have the carpeting in here so he's not He'll be bolting that to the floor when we get the new floor in. It's your desk. Pretty 
nice. And then down here, we've got a little place to keep the DVR or Roku or whatever else we decide to put in here. And Jamie's ready to work out here. That's it. That's it. She's done. What do you think, Dexter? What do you think of that? Huh? He's just going to lay down and watch TV, he says. I'm ready. So it goes right down into there. Like that. And then, this is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. It's very pretty. All handmade. Ta-da! It's done. That's done. And then we're ordering the recliners. The recliners to replace this ugly couch.